Some West Michigan communities are noticing a disgusting problem resulting from the fear about the coronavirus. Local sewers are clogging up. 13 on your side's Elena Holland tells us how this is putting a strain on public works. Store shelves might be running low on toilet paper, and you might be getting low yourself at home. But local sewage workers remind you to think twice before flushing anything else. This is what happens when you flush things you shouldn't. It does happen from time to time, but when we have it a couple times in one week, and all this people hoarding toilet paper, we thought we'd better bring more to light. This is a picture of a sewer pump in Georgetown Township. Joel Hannenberg, the director of Public Works, said they've had to unclog these twice this week alone, far more frequent than normal. And this gross mess, well, they have to clean it out by hand. Not, not so nice. We have to take gloves and, and we're pulling it out by hand. That's the only way to get it out. The city of South Haven also has a warning. Stop flushing wipes, even if they say they're flushable on the package. Don't use your toilet as a trash can. William Hunter is their public works director. He says the system might be working overtime right now because more people are using their toilets at home. Could people be using stuff that, that's not toilet paper? And now you have more people home in their residency instead of maybe at work. And so what could they be using? If you do have to get creative with the tools for your business, like using paper towel or wipes, make sure to throw them in the trash can, not in the toilet after use. You know, we could be doing other things besides taking apart pumps that people shouldn't have put uh, down in the toilet in the first place. And Hannenberg hopes people understand what it means if the pumps become too clogged up. Depending where you are in the line, you could really have a, a lot of sewer coming at you a lot, uh, in a hurry. In Grand Rapids, Elena Holland. 13 on your side.